Hello there, Damien Erskine here. Um, fresh back from the NAM show last night. Um, had an incredible weekend. Uh, seems like everybody I ever knew and everybody I wanted to know was there, so it was a fantastic hang. Um, saw a lot of fantastic music. And among other things, I got to hang at the Bass Bash with Pete Schold and pick up my new Grayling model Schold Bass. Um, and this is why I wanted to talk to you today. Um, the story behind this bass is a uh, years, couple years ago, Pete uh, built himself a personal bass that was different from all his other models. He just built him something um, that he wanted to play, the mu you know, that fit the kind of music he wanted to play and the way he plays. And uh, a while back I was on a tour and had some time off and uh, he's in Ohio, Warsaw, Ohio, and I swung by the shop and hung out for a few days and among other things fell completely in love with his bass <laughs> and immediately um, told him, you need to make me one of those, I need, I need that in my life and he obliged me and now it, it's turned out so well he decided to turn it into a model it'll be called the grayling um it's a completely passive bass and mahogany body um this bass in particular at least um i believe it's a maple neck looks like a uh, ooh, i'm not kind of bad with woods a dark wooded fingerboard i should ask him um the thing about this bass is i told him um, that I wanted kind of a more, uh, I, I love my four string shoulder. The one thing it doesn't do is kind of the old school passive style, you know, P bass kind of vibe. And I really wanted just a nice passive old school sounding four string bass because it fit a lot of the gigs that I do around town here. Um, and so he came up, this has a shoulder tone preamp and pickup of his own design. <clears throat> it's all shoulder from top to bottom. And the neat thing about this pickup is it's basically kind of a music man placement. And um, I'll explain what the pickup does now. There's volume, um, a four-way selector switch for the pickup, and a tone knob, and that's it. Now the four-way selector switch um, makes it so you have P bass, um, P bass uh, placement, Which in context, you know, when I was at the bass bash and I could really turn the amp up a little bit and play it, it really came to life. It was very dynamic. So we have P in both pickups in series, both pickups in parallel, um, and then reverse P, which is very cool because, as you know, on a P style pickup, you have the the, the lower two strings, the pickups a little forward, and the top two strings, the pickups are a little back. So you get a little more um, rounded, warmer sound on the lower strings and a little bit of a higher, uh, treblier, I guess, sound on the upper strings. And reverse P kind of balances that out. Pushes the back strings back towards the bridge and the front strings up towards the neck, which uh, is kind of a more balanced version of that. <laughs> Here's P. Series, which if you've read my recent No Travel article, you'll know is a little bit louder. tone knob so you can roll it all the way up, roll it all the way back. And everywhere in between. Um, I don't slap, but this thing does. Um, that's about
about as much as I can do with that. Um, that is with the pickups in parallel. Um, I am just, I was completely fell in love with this bass of the show. I couldn't stop playing it. It plays, it's like butter. I mean, it feels incredible. The ergonomics are fantastic. Plus it's just got this great kind of old school, um, maybe a dash of Alembic with a little bit of like a Gibson or you know SG, something kind of vibe. I love, I love the aesthetic of it. Um, but more importantly, it sounds phenomenal and plays phenomenally. And the pickup is a, uh, and the, this pickup selector and everything, it just works beautifully. I got all kinds of different sounds, but I could really crank the amp in here in my studio. I can't crank it that much, uh, but I brought the Aguilar out so I could get at least as close to my tone as I could instead of playing through the computer speakers. Um, this little two-piece bridge. I mean, it's just a classy looking instrument. Also, uh, I have the drop D tuner so I can get a little low if I need to. Um, need to tune it a little bit, but um, 33 inch scale, mahogany body, shoulder tone preamp, um, shoulder pickup. It's got a little dragon on there. You probably can't see it in the Im image. Um, volume, four way pickup selector, P series, parallel, reverse P. Great idea. And tone knob. And that's it. Thing does everything. So I'll be bringing this to a lot of gigs and trying to get some footage in context with the band so you can really hear what it does. Um, but I just wanted to give a little quick little blam, here it is, because I know I've been talking about this bass a little bit and been excited about it, so I figured I'd let you all check it out. Alright, hope you all are well. I will see you on the road or in town, and uh, hopefully you will hear this bass in action soon.